My favorite way to give baby shower gifts is to give something as a little set, to give two matching things instead of just one thing. I don't know where I got that, but that's usually, usually how I want to do it. And so I put together this top-down raglan sweater combination to fill that bill. Um, this is the boys' version in boy colors. You'll see that um, it has a vertical stripe thing going, which is knit in with sort of a fair aisle technique. But other than that, it's a basic top-down raglan. So we're going to go over the trickier parts of this pattern. And the top-down raglan techniques are the same for just about any top-down raglan pattern that you'd be using. But if you want to follow along with this particular pattern, it's available over at verypink.com. Um, besides the little sweater, we have the matching set is the beanie for the boys and the little girl sweater. And I think the stripes are going to be hard to see on camera here, but there are white stripes in with the yellow. And the girls comes with a pattern for a little beret. Well, you can do a beanie for the girls too, but I think the beret is pretty cute. Okay, so we're going to start here with the cast on row. And as with any, oh, let me back up and show you something. As with any top-down raglan, the cast-on row is going to be this row here. And for this particular pattern, we're going to do a few rows of one-by-one one rib before we start in with the raglan increases. And the raglan increases are here and here and here and here, giving us um, sections two fronts, two sleeves, and a back, because this is a cardigan. So. I have a few stitches cast on here, and I'm just using the long tail cast on method. This is just for example, for example, this is not the right number of cast on stitches, obviously. And I'm using circular needles. You can use straights, but I always prefer circulars. So just as a review, when you're working one by one rib, it's knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, all the way across. So I knit the first stitch, but before I can go into the purl stitch, I have to pull the yarn forward between the two needles to purl one, and then put the yarn back between the two needles to knit one again. Forward purl, back knit. And the cast on row is always the tightest row, so it slows you down a bit, but these rows go pretty quickly. Okay, we're going to pretend now that I have finished all the rows of one by one rib that I need to do. And the next row has us placing the markers for the raglan increases. I want to demonstrate that quickly here. It tells you to work the, or knit the required number of stitches, yarn over, which means to pull the yarn forward if you're knitting. In this case, we are. Yarn over, knit one, place your marker, knit one, yarn over, and then work to the next spot where you're going to place a marker. And again, you yarn over, knit one, place marker, knit one, yarn over. And this is just the setup row. So you're actually going to place four markers. Let me show you again where those are. Here are your four marker places, three, four. And these holes that are made on the raglan increase are the yarn overs that you're doing. And once you have your markers placed, every right side row, you will knit to one stitch before the marker, yarn over, knit one, slip marker, knit one, yarn over, knit to one stitch before the marker, yarn over, knit one, slip marker, knit one, yarn over. This will become very old hat to you very quickly, that this part of the knitting goes pretty quickly. And then every wrong side row is just purling across all the stitches. So that gets to be really easy. So you're going to continue the raglan increases, knitting the whole sweater like this until following your pattern until it says that you have enough. And then we're going to separate the sleeves here and just continue working on the body. And that's what we're going to cover in the next video, is separating the sleeves.